Did you go to Sirius when she died on July 8th? Did she become a ghost? What's going on? Like, where is she right now? Is she just alive in my music? Whatever it is, her energy is still here. And, you know, I'm here for her. Always talking about the new age of Aquarius, okay? Always talking about being famous. We were always talking about, you know, this enlightenment that we had to be a part of. And I knew that she didn't want to just give up and be like, well, I guess that's it for me. She knew she was important. She knew she had work to do still. And she told her kids that this was something that had to happen. She was going to become more powerful after she passed. And look at her now, dude. All over Google Ads, all over the walls in El Paso, you know, all over the music. She's alive still, dude. In a sense, she's alive. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get into this video because there's something. If you want to know about May and what happened to her exactly and, and how how is she a part of the collective? How is she, how is she a part of that? How? What happened to her? Where did she go? It all starts with this video she sent me here. And it was weird. Me and my cousin, all of a sudden, you know, we were there talking about cosmic angels. Out of nowhere, dude, we were just talking about it because of, you know, what, what, what does she mean? You know, what, what does this video mean? Did she become an angel somehow? Is it possible that she could really become an alien being? Was she this before she even came to this earth? Who knows? But on her profile, she said she was a cosmic angel. So that made me think. And me and my cousin were talking about it. All of a sudden, dude, out of nowhere, it pops up on the TV, a documentary on cosmic angels. And this lady's explaining, yeah, cosmic angels, they're real beings. They're real alien creatures that, you know, communicate with the humans and this and that. Me and Jesse are like, what the heck? Did the TV hear us talking about it? Like, is it May? Was it the universe? Was it a coincidence? Who knows? But, I mean, you can imagine just, we never looked it up, dude. We literally were just talking about it and it just popped up next to, you know, the YouTube It'll just pop up to something that, you know, was connected to the music you're hearing or whatever. Dude, it was weird. All of a sudden, you know, if I felt it too. It felt very powerful. And ever since that time, I, I felt something weird. But, you know, if, if we're going to find out, if we're going to find out what happened, where she's at right now exactly, I think it has something to do with this video here. So let's dive into it so we can see exactly what she sent to me before she passed. To prepare the groundwork for those who will come in the future, who will grow and evolve into union with the source. And I wanted to focus on them, but I couldn't or they would start to disappear. So I relaxed into a diffuse sort of vision accepting that I couldn't form a distinct image of them. There were three of them, and they moved and spoke as one. These are their exact words. We are the Seraphim. If you merge with our light, there is much we can show you. To become like us, you must burn only with love for the Creator and his consuming fire will quickly transform you into the flaming likeness of the seraphim. They emphasized the word only, and the word felt significant. Each of the three was emanating the same sacred feeling or vibration. Just like it says in the Bible, they emanated holy, holy, holy. 
was not an auditory word or mantra. It's hard to describe, but somehow their very being was that vibration or holy emanation. What was strange was that the seraphim seemed somehow mechanical. This part I don't really understand. They were conscious and interactive, yet it seemed like a machine turning on with an endless loop, like an endlessly repeating message. I saw their pattern. It seemed like they were an ancient template groaning and creaking, flickering into life for the specific purpose. At first their energy was a bit dim, but as I opened to the experience, they energized to a full glow. My self-structure was in awe. But yet awareness was just observing, unmoved. They told me that when the seraphim come, it is usually followed by great turmoil. I wasn't sure at the time if they meant great turmoil in my life or turmoil on earth. Through the seraphim, the soul is able to complete its journey to God and live. Those were the exact words given. Through the seraphim, the soul is able to complete its journey to God and live. Yeah, love my mama, yeah. I, I, I just want the karma, yeah. I, I'm just coming in. July 8th is the Sirius portal. Okay, there's a portal to Sirius. You know, and the way her her daughter explained it was that she was suffering. Like, she literally just ironically died on that day. She was born June 18th, another 8th, okay? It's the year after, okay? And I'm making an album for her. And I'm just like, man, I want to get more into her energy, her spirit. What is it? What's missing? You know what? I'm going to look up when she died. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? So she died July 8th? The day of the portal? Like, what's going on? Like, you know? So, ironically, it was August 8th. 8-8. Another portal, the Lion's Gate portal. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Lion's Gate portal, okay? The Lion's Gate portal, I'm like, wow, I had no idea. I had no idea, dude. And I'm over here, like, drawing her and, and, and just, like, making her album. And, and I discovered that she left on the 8th. She was born on the 18th. And it was 8-8. Eight, eight. When I discovered this, and this is the Lion's Gate portal right now, like, this is amazing, like, so I just kept drawing her this picture right here that you're seeing, and I'm like, wow, this is incredible, like, I just kept thinking about the 8-8, you know, 
like that's weird that it's eight eight and she left on the eight another portal she left on the portal and she was born on the 18th and i'm just thinking you know drawing this and all of a sudden I see that there's this thing right there. This is there already when I started drawing this, okay? It's just weird. I saw it too, but I didn't realize it was like an eight looking thing. I was just like, oh, there's some mancha thing. Okay, whatever. So I just drew her, you know, and I just kept drawing her. I drew her name exactly like this, okay? I didn't alter it. That's just the way the name came out. I drew her name. I still didn't even pay attention to that. Like that. I did her name. I had the sketch and everything on a picture. And I'm just drawing her, coloring it. And um, once I was coloring this, like I was coloring it. I colored it in. I pulled back and I was like, <sighs> and dude, I swear, I've never felt that feeling ever. I felt something supernatural where something was like, whoa, how could that be a coincidence? On 8-8, eight, eight, talking about 8, there's an 8 already there. Like, when you, know, see, you, know, you know when you see people, they see the Virgin Mary, and it's like on a, on a piece of wood? That's how I felt. It was like weird like that. And how the hell did this one connect to make another 8? Uh, I thought it was the most beautiful thing ever, and I just felt May, and I was like, whoa, is it, was it May? Was it just the Lion's Gate portal? Was it God? Was it all of it at once? Who knows? What up, what up? How's it going, man? I got May's son right here. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, people. Oh, yeah. How's it going, Gabriel? Chilling, hey, man. You look tight, dog. That's hey. a badass style. Man, that's a fat-ass truck right there, dog. Hey, that's my mom. Shout out, mom. No way, that was the one that she was that she had. Yeah, shout out, mom. Shucks. I keep it. I keep it running for mom. This is me. Oh, snap. Yeah. That's good, man. Here's my GoPro. Take some videos. Where did she get this? Where did May get this? I actually got it for her in Ashland, Oregon. Ashland, uh, Oregon. Yeah, I got it her, for her in Ashland, Oregon. And uh, it was one of her favorite things ever and it really helped her. But she said she figured it out. She figured out some kind of way to connect with people through energy, through the electricity in our phones. Dude, body and yes. live. She was, exactly. I knew it, I knew it. Yes. But I just figured it out without knowing, so this is great to verify that. And the thing Check is, is I don't really even know. She's so more, much more advanced than I am that I don't even know what what half of this stuff is. I can only say what I learned from my mom. Right. So, on 8-8, eight, eight, you know? Lions Gate. The Lions Gate portal. Portal? Okay. That's what serious? Michael, that's what Michael Neve said. He said when she passed away, he saw a portal in her star, in her chart. And that she like entered a portal when she passed away or something. This he made me flip. Me that. That's the thing. He told Dude, me that. What? May didn't try to die on that day. She didn't like, oh, today's the eighth. I'm going to no, die today. It just, it just happened. happened. That means it's all aligned. Okay. It did. Dude, I felt so, like that, dude. When I saw this, I was like, my heart was like... Oh, wow, that's so I'm amazing. Gonna... You realize all this stuff about my mom. Thank, like, thank you, man. Of course, brother. Like, this is it, bro. For doing this. Thank you, man. Like... No one else would be doing this. I know. Thank you. I know. But you know what it is? You're a warrior, man. Brother, but you, you know... Work. Thank you. But you know what this is, dude? This is just a destiny of the planet. This has not even nothing to do with me. I literally connected to this lady for the destiny of our, our soul's, like, grand journey to, like, the new age. Really? There has to be the indigos for this new age of Aquarius. This new age of Aquarius, dude... Is huge. The I know, dude. I cry. I cry too. The peace dealer. So here's the ceremony video. Okay, by uh, one of our good friends, the peace dealer. He's a famous YouTuber. These are the two biggest ones right here that I did for her. Look, she's a seraphim angel. It's all because of that video she sent me. Celebration. I want to actually just show you around the area. Oh, yeah, the fact that this is 
Look what they say here. That's so true. Like, even if it's, oh, okay. yeah. yeah it's like, like yesterday, today, and then tomorrow, and the next day. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. A couple yeah. Signs. But look what he says it's here. So strong, bro. Like, yeah. He and talks it's about. Actually, yeah. The strongest full moon of the year. This one and really? This one and the one in August. There it is. The two strongest full moons. Really? Yeah. That's when I had that May experience the with the yeah, 8 8. So much. Like you were saying, I remember that one time we talked and you were like, stuff is going to start moving really fast. And like all the stuff your mom yeah. said. Is going to start happening, and literally, right, no, after, it literally you, did. right after you said that, it started happening more and more. That's Basically, crazy. What he's like, referencing is that we. So I had mentioned earlier there that we feel like his mother kind of held space for the collective of what she's going through. Oh, because yeah. it's so unnatural. Representing the earth, bro. Literally, like, like what we're doing to the earth. Especially like, if you think about what she's done her whole life and everything she's doing. Growing gardens, making. Look, everybody here has a piece of jewelry from her, a dream catcher from her. Yep. You know, it's like, and then that night, you you know, you had like a dream and shit. Bro, everybody was like that. They were like, the night that it happened, they, everybody had some energy. It was so trippy. Or like, it was like that we were, well, you know, when she passed, it's like she was an anchor holding all this back. And when she passed, that's when things started. You know, right? Yeah. It's kind of like mom is like, all right, let's kick it off.
Yeah, these people really gotta know, man. I'm a spiritual being, you cannot suck my energy. I just be coming in, I just be balling with energy. All of these people don't want that energy. I just be coming in, balling with energy. I just be riding a board on a long board. I just go so hard and I'll never be stopping. Uh, huh. Taking a breath. Uh, taking a breath, give me a minute, yeah, give me a second, I really be coming in, I got a jet. Uh, I just be dancing, I really be moving, silent, I really be grooving, I really be dancing all around the tree of life, sun dancing, yeah, I'm going, yeah, I am a sun dancer, yeah, uh, I am a sun dancer, yeah. Uh, dancing in the sun, yeah With the tree of life, know that I'm the one, yeah uh, I don't need no gun, yeah, I'm spiritual, yeah uh, Yeah, this guitar is my gun, yeah uh, uh, Beaming demons down, yeah, they screaming every day hey, I just really play that guitar, no my